Okay, this is the default cubanoid cylinder. Rotate it 90 degrees in the y axis. Scale it 5 meters in the z dimension or 2.5 in the scale. Now add a plane and scale it 12 meters. Make the dimensions 5 in the x and move it 1 meter down in the z and also add an array modifier. Alright, now create a new material and add a gradient texture. Add the texture coordinate and a color ramp and plug the object into the vector. Make the z rotation 90 in the mapping node and add a color ramp. Make it constant and pull the white value way back until it disappears into nothingness. Now add an empty. Select the empty with the texture coordinate node to control the texture with the empty. You can also add a seamless style of the texture if you want a loop that's kind of loopy. And now go to the UVs tab and select all the words and with SX forward slash 6 you can scale it down in the X axis to make the textures look even. And color ramp, change the color, color ramp, add some bump, color ramp, uh, do whatever you want, no one's gonna judge. And make the scales in the mapping nodes too. Ooh. Nice. Copy the image texture you created without the gradient and paste it in the cylinder. And and plug the object into the vector and change the scale to 0 0.1. Create a plane and scale it up, up, up. Put it below the previous plane, maybe minus 1.1 in the Z. Array modifier. Parent to the first plane. Make the end keyframe 119. And before we animate, change the default interpolation to linear. Add a keyframe in the first frame and in the 120th frame make the Y location minus 12 and add a keyframe. In the cylinder rotate it minus 360 in the last frame and 0 in the first. Do a little bit of modeling to make the cylinder not look like a cylinder and add some cool shaders or you'll just have a rolling cylinder. Call it a roller, make toilet paper, I don't know.